Hello. Um. So, uh, I have this door which I showcased and it got a thousand views. Like, what? I get when a short gets a lot of views, but a normal video of just a door. But anyway, uh, this is explanation video of it because I think it's kind of a cool door. Um, and I quite like it. So, yeah. Um, so, this is the door, if you haven't seen it. It's not that slow, apart from this one long repeated bit at the start. Um, yeah. Uh, so, I don't know how big it is, but we can find out. I find a corner. Uh, it is 960 blocks. Wow, that's smaller than I thought. Uh, so that's cool. Um, and uh, it's not that crazy. It doesn't use any crazy techniques, I don't think. Uh, it uses um, triple sequence, which I made. Um, so basically the layout for the triple is that so the wall goes here and then you do that and then retract that but I'll give a one tick you do that no not that crazy uh, Anyway, that's that, but I used a sequence which basically uses two circuits and refires them, refires them a few times. So these aren't the extra circuits in the door, and the door they're a bit more compact. But uh, there are two inputs, A and B. Pretty simple. So A is this line, and basically A two ticks this line, and then one ticks it. So whenever you two tick this, it goes back around and one ticks it. In the door, I think you can one tick it and then it one ticks again, but we only two tick it anyway. So what that does is it powers both of these and then extends and does, uh, and it does this. So that's what that does. So the close is A and then B switches on, and then B switches on. So what B does powers this uh, first and then this after two ticks. Then this block, no, this after three ticks, and pass this block after two ticks, which buds this, buds that, and this is the double which is on top, uh, which just kind of goes along with the triple, which is nice. Uh, so that's an update for this. I don't know if this budding that does anything, but yeah, and then power that, and then does the extension, so the wall goes here. And there's single there, so you can't see pistons. And then on the opening, you just turn that off. And then you pat, then you one tick B. Wow, well, don't know how, if it has to be a one tick, but in the door, I use a one tick, I think. So you one tick B, and then whilst it's doing stuff, you power A. So all this does is it goes into B, and then a bit later, powers A. And then that does that. And then you two tick B which does the last bit and then the double as you can see goes along with it in the actual door i need to update this back piston but in this demo i guess i don't so see the double does that and then yeah so onto the actual door i'll explain this side because that won't be in the way Oh, also there are side doubles, but I'll get to them after, I think. So the input's here. Uh, not crazy input. Powers all these singles and back pistons of the double. And that, and then it goes into this block, two tick, which goes into a long repeater chain, which goes into B. Which, so that goes, and then the long repeater chain does that. Which is why on the opening the triple has to wait for that to switch off before doing anything else. So that just goes into there. And then but before that we need to one 
two tick this line, which we do with this, two tick repeater, which means we need to one tick that, or two tick it, and then we just get Duffer Hopper straight from the input, so that only happens on the closing. It goes into a piston and another piston which shortens the pulse down to a quick pulse. This can be a redstone block, but I put a repeater. More density. Um, and that goes into there, and then the way that this circuit works. So, the B circuit is exactly the same, except that the, bit, the dust is in a bit of a different place. But this circuit doesn't use that one of stable, it uses a different one and doesn't use a comparator. So, just throw this in. You can see it, two ticks and one ticks. So, the way we get the one tick is this goes into here, through here, up there, and then retracts this and extends it again. But because it retracts really quickly that gives a one tick and then so it doesn't clock we have this repeater which locks it the second time so yeah that right, just powered a bunch of other things and I don't know what state that's yeah that's fine forgot about that uh So, yeah, that's how that bit works. That is annoying. Uh, um. So, and um, then, so that's the closing, so I guess I can show that, you can see that goes, and then this line powers with that, doing the triple, and then on the opening, the first thing that happens is that retracts that, which does that move, and then we'll get on to the next book and see if I remember how this works. So, this is the animation if you wanted to see it. So, um, and then the way, because we've got that long delay, we can't just have another repeater line or something. So we've taken output from this repeater line, this goes into a block, which goes down dust. Oh, and also, uh, this back covers all these pistons by one redstone line, which is pretty simple. But obviously this needs to be copied to the other side and it needs to be powered at the same time. So for that... This line just goes along here, into both sides. That's how that works, and then we take a torch from this long repeater line into a dropper hopper, uh, which gets shortened by a piston, and then, I think there's a piston under here, yeah. Piston under there, redstone block, which, now I think about it, can be cheap, uh, So I don't break anything. Ta-da, now it's cheaper. So that goes into there, which two ticks this line, uh I s in my in this demo thing it gets one tick, but it can be two ticked, I guess. Uh yeah. So that two ticks that, which does the first part of this bit and then we need to do the back pistons so we take now we're from here which just goes into dust into the back pistons at the right timing uh, which does that bit and lastly we need to two tick this line which uh, let's see if I remember yeah we do with this dropper hopper so if you notice that we've got the sequence here a gets powered there and powers there so it gets powered twice in the whole door um and so this means this gets powered twice and the second time after a bit of delay we need to two tick this so i just use a pretty simple dropper hopper 
with that there. So the first time it doesn't power, second time it does. And then that just goes into some delay and powers that. Except this line has to be two ticked, it can't be four ticked, like from a dropper hopper. So we need to shorten that, and the way we do that, this is on subtract mode with this dust. And then this repeater goes into here, which powers the dust, which subtracts it, which also makes it take longer to switch on, and then it switches on for less time. Uh, that gets powered every time, but the first time this just doesn't get powered, so it's subtracting does nothing. So that's that. That's the triple. Pretty not that bad. Uh, I don't think. Uh, and I guess we can do the side singles. You can see, they need to switch on somehow, but over here there was barely any space to get to this line because yeah so we had to take from this side but from this side no signal from the lever gets all the way to this side and stays on you might think this does uh which probably does and i could use that but i didn't anyway so these two droppers are facing into each other and then they have a shovel in so it reaches both dust these dust just found the singles nothing special there and then basically on the closing this powers once uh, which powers that, then that, which means it ends up here. Then this also gets powered from this thing, uh, which powers that, but basically the item end up, ends up here, which is nice. Um, and then the opening, that spams a bit, but it works. Um, so that's the singles, and then the doubles, and uh, you see, basically are completely done by the triple. But this circuit has a bit of different timing, so it doesn't actually do the closing, so we need to update these back pistons, which we do with this piston here. And then that gets powered by a mono, uh, which gets powered by this circuit. So that does power on the opening, but doesn't do anything. So that's the sides. Well... I don't know all of the sides are sides that's the triple sides and then i will do this double first because it's easier it's a bit simpler less painful um but as you can see from if we look focus on these and whether those cauldrons go up so on the closing they just go up and on the opening they Retract and then pulse twice. Um, so on the closing, they they also get powered by this line, which goes straight into powering the extension of these doubles. That does the closing. The same thing happens on this side. So that does that. So those are uh, extensions, and then when they're retracted, they do that. Uh, yeah, and these also extend, which do the singles on the closing, but they switch off too early, so they don't actually retract these things. And then the next time these get a pulse, uh, I think it gets a one tick or a two tick. We can check. Okay, it gets a 1, 2, core 2, tick. I'm not sure which, but that doesn't really matter. And that uh, retracts these, as you saw just then. So that, was that happens on both sides. And then the way we get the last uh, retraction is this powers this and powers this, which powers these uh, straight after these are retracted, which buds these pistons and then this block buds that, that, that which then do those I guess I can show somehow so this line has that one tick yeah so if we switch it on we do that and then if we pulse it okay, if we do tick it 
if we do tick it. It does. Oops, wrong side. If we do tick it, it does that. And then that gets powered twice. So, also this gets a two tick, which is shortened by this, which gives that a one tick, which means we don't need an updater to update those. But even if we did, we've got the singles. Then the way you do the singles is just with this over there. And then the way we do this single, uh, I think there was a dust there. So that's how those doubles work. Not too hard. And then, yeah. And then, but these doubles, so I guess we can see that in action. So they will extend. And then you retract. And do that bit twice. Which means these things don't keep their blocks spat out. Which is quite handy. And these doubles were really, really annoying to get. But I thought I did it kind of cool. So straight from the input. This line here does the back ones, and then it also powers this block, this block, which powers this piston here, uh, this being an updater, goes block down, powering that, which powers the wall, which does the extension, as we can see, that extended, and then the way we do the retraction is this retracts this instantly, so that switches that off. Then the back pistons are attracted by this two tick, which does that. Then these two, which do that a bit later. So those aren't max, but that doesn't really matter. So that does that. And then the rest gets helped by the triple. So the way... So each side does these two. No, not like that. What is it? These two. So these two are the ones that need to be retracted and we get rid of that. As you can see, um, the way we do the bottom one is by powering this dust. The way we do the top one is by powering this block when it's been brought up. So what we do is we take an output from this from earlier, which powers this, pushing that down, powering that to do that retraction then it also goes to this two tick which powers that after which we can kind of see so yeah it does that one and that and then it's the same on this side and that's basically everything I think uh, not a crazy door quite a cool door though um yeah Oh, I've got the size there. Oops. So, that's it. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, bye. Also, sorry for not uploading recently. I've got stuff to do. I know, crazy, right?